What is happening everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Today I have for you guys some of my favorite knives coming in under that $50 price point. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I would love to have you here. And before you head out, hit that thumbs up button. Greatly appreciated everyone. So we're going to kick this video off with one of my more recent favorite pickups. Now this is the Megaron Valona, the 3.5 inch blade version going to be very similar to its older brother uh, but that one is quite a bit of a bigger knife quite a bit more substantial this is more of a trimmed down version but still maintaining all the awesome features 14c on the blade steel we have a nice satin finish on this particular one love this drop point blade the fuller is accessible on both sides of that blade great detent Flipper tab works equally just as well for the light switch and the push button as well. We have some textured G10. Megaron does a great job on their G10. We have a milled titanium clip, G10 backspacer. We have steel liners with tons of internal milling. Great access with a chamfer on the liner. Really hard to beat Megaron, especially when these come in under $50. Next up, we're going to kick it off with one of my more recent favorite Kubi pickups in the affordable range. This is the Kubi Talia. Often can be found for under $50, but uh, can usually be found in the low 30s. And if Kubi still has these in stock on their own retail store, I do have a coupon code that can get this knife down into the low 30s for you. And... This knife at the $30 price point or so, guys, is an absolute EDC banger, if you will. We have a satin finished D2 blade. We have this elongated cutout for deployment along with a very well done front flipper. We have featured this one a couple of times since I picked it up. And uh, it is not going anywhere anytime soon. It's a nice full size knife. Decent steel in D2, uh, some would argue a great steel. It has a very, very nice detent. Front flipper is very well executed. We have some nice textured G10, very similar to Migaron. We have a deep carry clip there, and that guy will be reversible. We have a good amount of access there to that liner with some jimping, solid lockup, solid fit and finish, and for under 40 bucks, this knife is extremely hard to beat, the Kubi Talia. Now, this next one is not a new knife, but it is a newer knife to me. This is the Schrade Divergent, and it's going to be coming in under 30 bucks, guys. We have Aus 8. We have this nice harpoon drop point blade coming with a satin finish. I have a lot of experience at this point with Schrade's crossbar locks, and they do a great job, guys, especially uh, under 30 bucks. Very, very nice. You know, if you're in the market and you're in that price range between, you know, under 50 bucks, let's just say, I think this is a great candidate uh, to, you know, to take a look at with the crossbar lock being nice and strong. We have a good usable blade shape. Aus 8 is, a, is an adequate steel. We have G10. It's textured. Very nice. Uh, Good fit and finish on this guy. It came centered, solid lockup, nice springs in there. Uh, hard to complain about anything on this knife. Uh, at the given price point, we have a standard lower mounted bench made like clip here. Works very well. Uh, don't really feel it in hand. This would make a nice little EDC knife, especially you know under that $30 price point. The Schrade Divergent would make a nice mid-size EDC, and we're going to keep on testing her out. Now, this one might be a little harder to find. Uh, on SRM's website, it's going to be a little bit more than 50 but if you do some looking, you can find these for under 50 bucks. This is the SRM, and it is the 255L, and then there is a Dash GK, uh, I believe, for the gray G10. But these are going to be coming in 10CR. 
Good fit and finish, a nice drop point blade with a uh, satin finish. We have dull thumb studs, crossbar lock on this guy as well. Very lightweight because you only have a quarter of a liner here. And that's what this guy is here, basically just to house that crossbar lock. The rest of it is just G10, G10 backspacer. We have a little lanyard loop there. We have an ultra deep carry clip here that will be reversible. So our left handed brothers out there can carry this we have a brass pivot collar uh and srm is a newer company to me but uh been a big fan since uh getting these knives out of the packaging just very well executed good uh price point for these guys good mid-size edc if you can find one of these for under 50 bucks it's a definitely definitely a go from me so this next one is a no-brainer. If you have not checked out the CJRB Pyrite series, whether it's the Drop Point, the Warncliffe, the large version of the Drop Point, I believe they have a large version of this one coming out as well. And, you know, this is not a small knife. I would say this is about an average size or this is going to be the size for a lot of people. Even with XL size hands, I can still get a nice grip on this guy. You have a cutout for deployment here, a nice pill-shaped size hole. You have that beautiful sheep split worn cliff style blade here. Coming in, CJRB's RPM9, uh, which is a fine steel, especially under that $50, you know, or even a little bit more under that price point. We have steel handles that have been nicely finished, guys. Tons of internal milling in there for weight relief. So the way they are able to finish these steel handles, mill them out to make them a little bit lighter, uh, the, the steel for the handle material choice has gotten a lot more appetizing than a couple years ago when it was just way too heavy. The finish of it was not that great, uh, but they've come a long way on finishing these steel handles. Typically, it comes with a deep carry steel rollover clip, and it will be reversible. You have a lanyard hole. I opted to throw a tie clip on here just because I do carry this and use this quite a bit, but uh, that's why there's all them marks on the blade. But this is an awesome option under that $50 price point if you're looking for a user EDC day-to-day -day type knife. Definitely worth taking a look at this guy. So this next one up, guys, can often be gotten for under 50 bucks. Uh, you're you're going to want to check, but on Amazon, a lot of times you can get this with a massive discount, 20% off. Now, they retail for right around 60 but can often be got right around that $50 price point. This is the Trivisa Aries, and guys, I got to tell you what, man, uh, very surprising pickup. I bought this and didn't really know what to expect, and I was pleasantly surprised with this guy. We have a kind of a satin tumble 14C sheep's foot style blade with a nice swedge nose going to that tip, going to add some extra strength down there. Nice looking blade. We have a cutout for deployment along with a very well done rear flipper tab. The springs in this thing are just excellent. Look at that. You can't even kick the blade out. You have to actually mean to push this blade out. It's got great springs in there. Uh, you can really load up on this thing as far as the flipper and the cutout goes. Thumb flick it, reverse flick it, however you want to flicky flick, you can do so. Uh, you can push button this guy. Nothing on the show side of the blade, which I love. They just have their emblem here. We have very nice micarta. We do have a spot for lefty mounting positions. The clip is recessed along with the screws. Pretty deep carry there. We have a nice G10 backspacer. And uh, to get this knife right around that $50 price point, guys, this would make an awesome utility EDC type knife right here. It's a good size. It's comfortable in hand, very affordable, 14C in micarta. That's a bread and butter for me, at least. I love that combination of 14C and micarta. 
Huge fan of that combination. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what some of your favorite knives are under that $50 price point. I love hearing from you guys. Double check and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I would love to have you here. Hit that thumbs up button for me. Leave me a little comment. Let me know what some of your favorite knives are under that $50 price point. Let me know what you're carrying. Love hearing from you. That'll wrap this one up. I will catch you guys on the next one.